Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Heather Tulla with another new video. As we have started Tecla Structural Design and Tutorial Series and this is its lesson 7. I am in lecture 7 and in this lecture I am going to discuss about how to copy slab and how will I mean how to copy full slab and how to create the different uh, float slab. I mean how will just simply replicate. How will replicate um, by using one floor for every floor so how we do that and in our previous video I have discussed about beam a setup column setup and uh, also about basic on take like structural designer so if you think that if uh, you need to need you need to know about that you can watch from our previous video that links are given in description and also in this channel they have many software tutorials I um, mean different types of software tutorials and also basic knowledge about civil engineering so if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so let's uh, start first of all we'll open our software from here and you can open from your desktop I, I have just hide that to make that uh, appearance clear so let's wait for opening um, it's have been opened so I'll um, uh, open our previous model so I'll go here open and from here this is our model I have saved here and I'll open that and if you're new here you can watch our previous video that how I have worked I think it will be clear and very good it will provide a good concept to you I would take less textual designer so this is the this is a model now we'll uh, copy that model will copy that model in different level as uh, our uh, floor to floor height is 11 feet and we have five story building so we'll create our that model now to do that and uh, before that i have uh, told you in our previous video that i will show you that how we'll change our color okay how we'll change our color uh, and Okay, I will see you, see you it later in end of the video and first of all I will see you that how will copy that slab. So first of all move it uh, by clicking um, just a uh, press I mean uh, press your right mouse uh, mouse button I mean right button and make it like that way it will help you for the work and just from here copy it click here and if you see here just we have um, copied that successfully have copied that now after copy okay after copy that uh, we will just copy our floor sorry after selecting that we will just copy our floor so uh, to copy that you have to just go here click edit so after going edit just click here uh, copy okay here just click here copy 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 okay it's okay then from here select a peak point from anywhere just select a peak point from where you want to select suppose uh, I will select that point now just see that if you move your mouse from top to bottom it will also move your slab okay Seeing that so it will move your slab so uh, now the question is how will give our distance I mean uh, from in distance so our uh, slab are taking its distance from that point so from that point to its top point its distance will be 11 feet how 11 feet so how will give that just to give that uh, to provide that value you have to give data here I mean you have to press F2 okay you have to press F2 then just see it it's uh, giving you that opportunity here it's telling you along uh, 31.5 feet so we'll do not do anything here then press your tab button and go the bottom on and now here you have to give your value from the end it, this data is from the end I mean from top so what is the uh, value of this data it is 
11 then press the fit sign it's 11 feet okay so 11 feet then press enter just wait now see that our uh, floor is ready here okay or uh, one floor is okay now again I will go for second on so again uh, I will just just press F2 then I will click tab to go the down option to go here and from here I will go by clicking right arrow I will go right and I will delete that after that I will provide 11 feet okay then press again enter now again go down again go down and here just see that when you have provide uh, 11 now uh, there have a point where this value are showing as the in value are 11 feet so sorry here uh, it's showing the in value is 11 feet just I will click here and it's okay then I will go again down and also see that there have a value it's showing us about 11 feet also I'll click here now uh, it's done and so uh, successfully we have provided our floor then we'll press escape ESC then okay so now see that if I move our structure then see here our building are ready I mean our full structure are ready here our structure have ready then press escape just see here these are structure so we have successfully replicate our building for our five story model okay now I will show you that how we'll change its color so we are seeing that uh, the every every color are same as and it's not looking so good so how will change that uh, change its color so in this lecture I'm going to show you that so to change its color go home after that go here setting okay so from here go to setting and after that here uh, sorry I have to find out that concrete here sorry in scene uh, you have to go in a uh, scene okay software going in scene when you'll go here in uh, scene then you'll found the color option just click here on color when you will uh, click on color option then you will see here the member okay just click on that member and uh, sorry uh, just click on that slab okay so from here which types of slab we are using slab on beam you have to remember the slab on beam then just click here and change your color suppose if you want to give the red color in your beam a slab then it's okay after that uh, minus it and go here member and from here just see the concrete okay here the concrete just click here and after that just see here uh, beam reinforced uh, reinforced beam and column so just click here and give a color here a anything you like to do I mean you like to give her just like that and also for column reinforced column then uh, just go here and also change your color according to requirement okay then press ok and click here just see that your color have been changed your color have been changed according to plan and according to requirements in this way 
you can change your building color okay uh, so so uh, in this way you can also change your uh, that project color I mean according to requirement which types of project you uh, want to create and which types of color you want to give on that project to uh, show that its appearance so it's okay till today and from next video I will show you about that uh, how we will apply that load on that building okay so we have complete our design frame and in our next video uh, we will show you about its load so how we will provide that load in next video I will show you that so if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also if you are a civil engineer then support us stay with us like our video comment our video and don't forget to share our video stay well stay connected till next video